With GIS Water, we have several possibilities for hydraulic networks management. The data we use is stored in a database, and we visualize that data with a GIS. Let's see on the pipe's layers how the material and the diameter properties of the pipes are stored. GIS Water uses catalogs. So let's see how it works. Here we have the materials catalog. Let's enter edition mode and change the value of the material PVC to 0 0.009. We save the changes and therefore we can do all the changes with this table. This means that we don't have to go to each pipe if we want to change the properties of the pipes such as diameter, materials or roughness. The same applies to the materials catalog of the pipes. Here we can also edit its properties. We have here several diameters, so for instance, let's change this one from 1 meter to 1.05. We save the changes, close the addition mode, all right, so let's go now to our catalog, and there you have it, the changes that we made. We can also edit on this table and save the changes. And there we have the pipe that we change again to 1 with the same geometry. And that's it. As you can see, when we work with catalogs, we can change the properties of all the pipes of our network with only one table.